Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara and I do videos about the beauty community on YouTube. I talk about makeup no buys, low buys, declutters, minimalism, how to stop buying makeup, and all that sort of stuff. Quick editing note, I just started a podcast with my friend. Her name is Cheryl and the podcast is called Watch the Film With Us. We're talking about rom-coms, a little bit of film analysis, but lots of fun. We're watching a movie and then we're talking about it while we watch it. So the first film we're doing is Letters to Juliet which is just a lot of fun. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, I will link it here and I would love for you to join. Let me know what you think. Right now it's about mid-June and I'm filming a June empties slash decluttering video, which might seem a little weird. I'm filming kind of preemptively. This is for a couple reasons. First of all, I don't have any products that I'm going to finish within the next few weeks. I know this for a fact. So there's no point in waiting until the end of June to see what I'll have finished. I've really finished quite a few things over the last week or two. And secondly, I haven't filmed a beauty video in a while and I just felt like I should film something today and I honestly didn't have the mental energy to write a script and plan out a video. And quite frankly, this is a lot easier because I just talk through what I have rather than doing a lot of research, which for a lot of my videos, a lot of research does go into them. Now, despite the fact that I'm filming this in mid-June, I know that I'm not going to post this until the end of June, beginning of July. So the world that I'm living in now might look a little different in a few weeks because things are moving so fast. I do have a couple of videos pre-filmed backlogged. So if you're wondering why like my hair changes lengths from video to video, that's why. Anyways, sorry for that long rant at the beginning. Let's get into the actual video. As we all know, we're all in quarantine. We're probably all decluttering and you know doing all that sort of stuff and I personally have taken this time to go through a lot of old products and try to finish off things that I didn't like as much that were almost finished so first I'm going to talk about the products that I finished and then I'm going to go into the products that I decluttered this month so I'm going to start with the first lipstick that I ever finished I'm actually really really proud of this it is a lipstick by makeup forever and it's just a sample one it's a small one otherwise I never would have been able to finish this I didn't, I didn't like the color, like to be honest, I really didn't, but I knew that there was so little left that I would be able to finish it, so I did that and I'm really, really happy to be done. I'm now working on another sample of this Marc Jacobs one. This one is a bit darker and honestly I don't like it very much. I don't think it's great on my skin tone, but I know that I can finish this off fairly quickly, so why not? If you're not seeing people right now, this is a great period of time to use up products that you don't like very much. I also have some body care products in this. <laughs> this is massive. This is from Cake, it's called It's a Slice. I actually really, really love this, but I just had it for so long. I was like, I need to prioritize this in terms of like the soap and body wash I'm using. It came with a two pack. I think I got this as a present like many, many years ago. And the other one I'm still working through. Yeah, biggest biggest thing I've ever finished. I think from now on I'm trying to use non-packaged soap, zero waste soap, like Lush, that kind of thing. I'm hoping to not have to use plastic containers anymore. This might be one of the last plastic containers of soap I ever used. Gotta get that thumbnail. Oh, and it smelled like, what does it say? I think it smells like grapefruit, but it doesn't say anywhere. This next one is a body spray. This is from Calgon. It's called Blossoms in Peach Blossom. Honestly, I didn't mind this, but like, I need to stop using body spray. Like, I'm just over that point in my life. So I have a couple of Body Shop and Bath and Body Works sprays that I'm still working through. Yeah, I have so many. It's gonna take so long to get through all of those. But I'm really glad to have finished that one because I think that was my least favorite of all of the ones I had left. I'm sorry, the next two are actually also body products. I have more makeup that I'm decluttering this month than I finished because I don't actually finish that much makeup. It's just so hard to get through makeup. Anyways, this is a little perfume sample, Truth by Calvin Klein. I have a ton of these that I'm just trying to work through. <laughs> I feel like that's the phrase I say the most, trying to work through, trying to get rid of, trying to finish it off. Do not let your makeup collection accumulate to the point where you have to get through makeup or where you have so much makeup you don't know what it is and you don't like most of it because honestly that's the point I'm at and that's why I'm on this no-buy journey right now. Next is this moisturizer. This is Elizabeth Arden body lotion. 
this was fine. It's more kind of old lady-ish. I don't use too much Elizabeth Arden. I'm really happy because I actually don't have that many body lotions left to get through. I think I just have like two large size ones, which is excellent, excellent. All right, and then let's move on to what I'm decluttering. So the main thing I'm actually decluttering this month is mascaras. I'm doing a whole video on my mascara collection and which ones I'm keeping, which ones I'm getting rid of. This is something that I have just put off for so long. I've never gone through my mascara collection and gotten rid of things because I just, I cherished the idea of having a mascara collection. Not so much other things, like I never felt like I had a blush collection or a foundation collection, but mascara, like that is, that was the gateway drug for me. That is what got me into makeup. So I really prize my mascara collection, but honestly, it's time to get rid of those decade old mascaras. Like it, they're serving no purpose. So anyways, I'm not putting that in this video. That's gonna be an entirely separate video. But I did go through some of my other miscellaneous old products and I found a couple of glittery eyeliners. I don't know the last time I wore glitter eyeliner. I certainly wear glitter on my lids, but I don't wear glitter eyeliner. So these two, honestly, I probably would have kept them if they still worked, but they don't. This is from Aeropostale. And I think that that says something because Aeropostale does not exist anymore. So this is obviously quite old. When you stick the brush in, nothing comes out. I tried reviving this nothing it's, it's entirely dried up so that's a new this one is also a silver one this is from hard candy there is stuff on a brush but it's all dried up so that was also impossible this one this one wasn't terrible but also wasn't great i think this is from covergirl you can see i tried this on my hand but it just like it feels so thick and like old, like it hasn't dried up, but it's almost dried up. So I don't think it's a good idea to use this anymore, but it was really hard to draw the line. So I would have to press really hard on my eye and I feel like it's just not, it's just not a good idea. I might actually try this one more time, but yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to keep that or to keep using it. And then actually the last product that I'm getting rid of is this concealer. I keep thinking that the concealer that I'm using is finished or like it's almost finished because I'm using it and then it'll just like stop. And I'll be like, oh, I'm done, but it hasn't happened yet. So I went looking for backup concealers, like what I'm gonna use when I do finish it. And this was one of them. This is a little hard candy concealer. This is not, this is not my skin tone. And also, why is this a pencil? Like, I don't put concealer on like certain spots, right? I put it like under my eyes like this or around my nose or I don't put it in specific spots. I put it over like large areas of skin. So this is not gonna work for me. This is not my color. I didn't actually have that many <laughs> products today, but I still somehow managed to ramble on and be filming for quite a long time. Sorry if I'm a bit lackluster today. Sorry if my makeup looks haven't been exactly inspiring. And I did a video about Black Lives Matter and how I want to talk more about social issues in my video. So it may take a while to put that content up, but know that I am working on it and I am thinking about how I can add to the kind of content. One thing that I've seen going on is white influencers talking about black influencers and trying to promote black owned beauty brands. I would love to do this kind of thing, but I, <laughs> I'm i on a no buy, I don't buy makeup. So it makes it difficult to transition my content into this kind of thing. So I know I'm gonna have to be a bit more creative. So I am working on that, please stay tuned. And if I'm honest, another reason I haven't filmed is I don't feel I don't feel like I'm looking camera ready. Like I used to do my makeup specifically for my videos for being on camera. And now I'm just doing my makeup to like use up certain products or because it's fun. Like I'm working from home so people aren't really seeing me 
except for Zoom calls. It doesn't really matter how I look and I haven't wanted to do like an elaborate look and like my hair is a mess most of the time. It's either in a French braid or two French braids, Dutch braids, that kind of thing. Like I never, I never just have it down anymore. This is getting too personal, but yeah, I just, I just want to share that. I hope you are all getting inspired by makeup you're seeing now and also by the real change and hope that we're seeing right now because that's, that's giving me a lot of energy. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on declutters and makeup no buys and let me know what else kind of content you want to see. I'll speak to you guys later. Thanks. just as hard to film as the last video. Those are going with this. Is that what it's called? I feel like it was really rough. Like just run down. Which is not to say that I'm not. I just didn't expect it to be so obvious. <sighs> hey guys. Right now I'm working on sort of talking about more in-depth concepts. How do I just make this? So if I lost any of you along the way, if you're still watching, thanks for that.